Hey guys and welcome back to another Star Stable video and today I'm so excited because the new American Quarter Horses are finally here! There's four of them so far, one is in Fort Pinta and the rest at Starshine. So without further ado, let's ride to Starshine Stables because I really want to buy one of them today. And here they are and oh my gosh they are gorgeous! These must be the strawberry roan coat and it's beautiful but it's not my favorite so let's move on. This is the splashed white on black, doesn't look bad at all and the white mark on his face looks very neat. Usually I don't really like when their face is marked like that but this one looks really cool but just like the one before this is not what I'm looking for. Then we have the bay coat and I love it so much. This is a winner for me, definitely a winner, but I am not going to buy him just yet because there's a Palomino back at Fort Pinta that I still need to check. So let's go over there now because I love Palominos and I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna fall in love with this one as well. Okay, will you look at her? She's adorable! I am so confused now. I was sure that I was going to buy the Bay Quarter, but now I have no idea which one to get today. She's so beautiful, I really like this one. Okay, let me have a look at the Bay again. I really like it. It's a beautiful color for a coat and the mane and the tail looks amazing. This is the quarter horse that was featured in the intro video to Starshine Ranch and I fell in love with it right away. But now that I saw the Palomino, I can't resist but to buy that one today. So yeah, I think I'm buying the Palomino, so let's go back to Fort Pinta and buy my American Quarter Horse. And here we are again, I had to run over between Starshine and Fort Pinta at least 5 times, of course I'm not showing everything here because it would be boring, but I had to go over 5 or 6 times to make sure which one I would buy. I was really torn between the Palomino and the Bay coat, but today I am buying the Palomino. So let's buy this beauty and we have to pick a name. One thing that I would like for Star Stables to do is to give us players more control over the name choice because I have so many good RP names that I normally use in games and I can't use them here. The combination system isn't bad. You have to pick from random words that Star Stables gives you and create a name that you find appealing for you or for your horses. But I wish we could do that ourselves without having to choose from a pool of names. But my guess is they want to keep this game friendly for everyone regardless of age, so they won't allow us to have freedom over the naming because people might abuse the system and use bad and rude words to name their characters and their horses. It happens everywhere online and I'm pretty sure that Star Stables team doesn't want that to happen here, so this is how we have to do. This is why I don't like this system, because I am really bad at picking names. I can never find the perfect combination and it takes me ages to name a horse. Honey Dancer. Uh, that sounds okay, so I'll keep that. Right, back to my stables and let's check that cute Palomino. There she is, and oh, I love her! She's so adorable! Let's put some tack on and get ready to go outside. And I am using a light colored gear. By the way, this is one of the new sets that you can buy at Starshine Ranch just outside. I also want to buy the other set. Uh, which is a bit darker than this one, but this is the one that I want to use with my Palomino because I think it looks amazing. Okay, let's go outside and start practicing. I'm starting my training here today, but before I do that, let's go over to the arena and have a look at all the animations and movements of the new American Quarter Horse. Thank you. 
This is so cool. I am starting to feel dizzy just looking at it, but I could do this whole day. That's a really cool animation. Right, let's start training now and I'm running solo first and then I will race with an opponent. It's always hard when we start training with a new horse because of their level, they are not as fast and agile as a high level horse, but that is part of the fun. So expect me to be slower than usual and I will probably barge against the obstacles as well. Solo races are done, so who's my opponent today? Okay, so it's Scott today and this is actually the first time that I am racing with him. I always get either Beatrice or Josh, so this is the first time that I'm racing against Scott. Barrel race was smooth, but I think I'm going to struggle with the pole bending. I always have a hard time doing that with a low level horse, so I can already see this is going to be a disaster. Yeah, so I lost the pole bending race because I knocked down one of the poles. Well, I knew that was going to happen, so never mind. Okay guys, enough training for today. We got to see all four new American quarters and I bought this beautiful Palomino today. 
but I still want to buy the bay coat as well so I am sure that I'm gonna do that very soon and I wonder how long it's going to take to introduce the rest of the quarter horses to the game I think there's four or five more and some of them might go to the app instead so I can't wait to see that happening because my girl loves playing with the app and she usually feeds and trains my horses there before I move them over here so I am guessing that two of the horses will go over to the app probably next week and the rest of the horses will be here in the game and you can buy them straight away. I forgot to mention that the Palomino that is at Fort Pinta, you only need to be level 1 to buy it and the ones that are here at Starshine Ranch, you need to be level 5 and that's not too bad because getting to level 5 it's very quick. All you have to do is follow on the Moreland Stables questline and you will get to Starshine very quickly. Okay guys, so that's it for today. Stay tuned for my next video. I am going to continue with the Soul Rider story quest to save Anne. You guys probably saw that already, but just in case you want to have a look again, you are always welcome. So have a nice day and enjoy the rest of your week.